Here we go. Jeff Petrie traded again, this time from the Montreal Canadiens to the Detroit Red Wings. So Jeff Petrie going home. I just wanted to react to it quickly. If you're a new subscriber, welcome at the like button, notification bell, all that good stuff. Yeah, I mean, this one was the obvious one just based on him going home. Jeff Petrie's from Michigan. So uh, I know a lot of people were suggesting that. I just looked at the defense core and I just thought, I mean, they don't need them. They've already got a few right shot guys, including Cider, Justin Hall, um, Shane Gosh's Bear or Mata will play on the right side. And of, of course, they had Gustav Lindstrom, who's in this trade. So the Red Wings trade Gustav Lindstrom and a conditional fourth round pick to the Habs in exchange for Jeff Petrie. And uh, yeah, the Habs retain 50% of the remaining amount. So it'd only be about $2.3 million against the cap for the Red Wings for the next two years. So that part is, I mean, that's low risk. Like, I think getting Jeff Petrie, even at this age, yes, he's slower, maybe more of a defensive liability at times. But, you know, at 2.3, 2.4, in around there for a guy that can play 18, 19 minutes on some nights, I think that's pretty good. So Jeff Petrie could play on the second pair, he could play on the third pair. And at this point, I think you consider trading one of Mata or Sherrod if you could. I mean, Sherrod's got three more years at 4.75 million. That's going to be hard to trade. But you know what? I think if they ran a scenario of like Wallman, Cider, and then Sherrod and Petrie already have familiarity, and then you run a third pair of like Gosh Spare and Justin Hall, then you could trade Mata and then have Jared McIsaac as your seventh defenseman. Maybe Mata's your seventh defenseman. It doesn't really matter at this point, but um, the Red Wings do have the cap space. They were able to make this happen. Uh, and now it's just a matter of who's going to be in the top six because an NHL caliber guy, um, veteran guy, will be out of the lineup most nights if it stays like this right now. So uh, for the Habs, you get another draft pick. And I think Gustav Lindstrom, it could be a project here. He's only 24 years old, a Swedish defenseman, uh, I think about 6'2". 6'2", 6'1", around there for height. Um, so a taller guy, and I think a right shot guy that maybe the Habs will be able to utilize and give him some more ice time. I mean, Kovacevic was able to get some more ice time. Obviously, guys like um, Justin Barron they brought in, and we saw what uh, Caden Gooley could do with more ice time. So, uh, yeah, those guys are younger, but I think Lindstrom still at only 24. I think there's a possibility here for him to get some ice time and maybe uh, benefit from a change of scenery. So give me your thoughts, guys, on this trade. Jeff Petrie to Detroit. He's going home, and uh, the Habs have traded him now twice in the last uh, year or so. So, uh, yeah, between the last couple of years, Jeff Petrie, um, he's seen Montreal a couple times. So, um, yeah, Detroit for Jeff Petrie. Give me your thoughts, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.